Hey, young people, Pastor Dan here with the, the middle school ministry team and the high school ministry team. We're really excited to send you out this video and uh, connect with you finally. It seems like it's been some time, but we're really excited to get with you. Want to tease something really quickly. We're going to be starting a midweek meetup between all of our youth ministries. So we're going to be meeting up via Zoom, having a good time sharing with each other, digging into some scripture and just sharing uh, during that time. So you'll be seeing some information regarding that soon. So be on the lookout for that. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be engaging. But the point of this video is we want to bring all of our leadership together just to inspire you during this time. I know you're isolated and doing things you're not used to, but we have some suggestions for you that will inspire you during this time. So as you can see, we got the team with me and we're just gonna make a round and inspire you a little bit today. So we're gonna start off with, you know she is, G is gonna bless us at first. So G, I'm gonna kick it over to you. What do you got for us today? Hey, Young Believers, how you doing? Missing you guys. Just want to give you guys a shout out. Um, thinking about you and praying for you. Hey, Reagan, Matthew, Eli, miss you guys. So during this time, I just wanted to, you know, let you know that you're on our hearts. And one of the ways we stay motivated or I try to stay uplifted during this time is seeing God in nature. So. One of the things I can say that I've been doing is I can take it slower in the morning so I get a chance to actually listen to the birds. That's my new alarm clock, the birds. Instead of having to rush out, worry about getting on the bus or getting in the car or trying to go somewhere. So take some time to see where you can find God in nature. Um, the verse Psalms 19.1 talks about God and the heavens declaring the glory of God and that the sky is his handiwork. So what I would suggest, just as a little fun scavenger hunt, is to look for verses in the Bible that talk about nature, talk about God, and see if you can find it matching out in your backyard, if you go for a walk in the metro parks, little scavenger hunt between the Bible and what you see out in nature, because God is still with us all around us, and that gives me comfort and peace throughout my day. Absolutely. I love that, Gia. As a matter of fact, I've been doing bike rides with my niece and my nephew. Shout out to Alana. She's part of the middle school ministry now, going to seventh grade. Really exciting stuff. But we've taken our time in nature and just going out there and breathing a little bit. So great inspiration right there. But I'm going to do the Bible scavenger hunt for sure. We're going to look up some verses and make that connection. I love it. So next, we're going to go over to Rachel. Rachel's going to inspire you. Hey, school. Uh, we definitely miss you. We've been praying for you all. Um, just wanted to let you know to stay connected um, with God. And in doing so, I would say, you know, after you get back from your nature walk or even while you're on your nature walk, think of things and get connected with God through devotionals. Um, and you can do so with the Bible app. There's some on Pinterest. I mean, you can find them online. You can find them everywhere. And I would suggest you can do them alone, but I would suggest maybe getting your family together and doing them together. So then that way everybody can just kind of have like a book club discussion and you can discuss what you've gone over. Um, and then that will help you better understand what you're reading. And then too, on the Bible app, it gives you the option to do it with friends. So if you have friends that you're with on the Bible app, um, you can go ahead and do your devotionals with them, and then you can discuss what you read and what God was saying to you personally. Um, and then that will also help you, you know, stay in your word. And I just want to um, give you some encouragement with the scripture. I'll do Romans chapter 15, verse 4, uh, for everything that was written in the past was written to teach us so that through the endurance taught in the scriptures and the encouragement they provide, we might have hope. So that's what the Bible does for you. That's what God does for you. That, that, that's his word. So stay encouraged. Hey, Jules. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Eric. Uh, we're praying for you all. We love you all. I love that, Rachel. That's a great one. One of the best habits you can build as a young person is doing devotionals on a daily basis. I started off with our daily bread. Everybody knows that one. They have so yes. many cool apps. They can send you reminders. So many cool things right now. Build that habit up. Do that right now. Excellent one right there, Rachel. Then we're going to go over to Jenny over there with the army fatigue tonight, this, this <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> 
All right. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I would like to come to you and um, discuss being quiet. Um, first, I'm going to mention my Bible verse, which is Psalms 46, uh, 10, chapter 46, verse 10, which says, be still. And then it goes on to say, and know that I'm God, but you want to focus on um, the be still uh, portion of that statement because right now we all have to be still, but really be still. Uh, put your devices down for a minute. Um, take, take some time to just be quiet and, and listen to what God is trying to say to you because, you know, maybe once whatever it is, um, that God is saying to you, once you get it, you know, maybe we'll be done with this whole thing. But um, just definitely take some time to be quiet, be still, and um, definitely add some journaling to that if you can every day um, so that maybe we, one day you can look back and see, you know, the things that were on your mind or that you heard from God um, and you'll just be able to reflect on those things, but stay encouraged. I love that, Jenny. J great encouragement and be still. So hard to do nowadays when you got your devices buzzing at you, you know, you got your headphones in the ear, you got the family right around, you know, right over there screaming now because we're all under the same house and everything. But uh, if you could find a space and just be still and really hear that still small voice of the Lord talking to you, it goes a long way, especially right now. I love it. Great, great advice. And then finishing us off, we have Kelly. So Kelly, go ahead and take it home for us. Hi, everybody. I want you all to know I'm thinking about you all. I miss you all. I'm praying for you and your family, and I can't wait till we can be together again. And my topic for today is meditation. Middle school ministry knows that I encourage meditation a lot when we're in class. And meditation is the practice of just thinking deeply and focusing on your thoughts and your breathing. So with everything you learned today, you can all take some time to meditate. After you go for a nature walk, you can sit and think about what did you see while you were on your nature walk. After you do a devotional, sit and think about what you learn, what your family talked about. You can journal, sit and think about what you've written down, what you've journaled, and you can only meditate for five minutes. It's just sitting there or lying down, being comfortable and just breathing and just sort of clearing your head. Meditation promotes mindfulness. And in a time like we're having right now, we're full of stress, we're full of anxiety. Meditation is like the best thing that can help us reduce that stress and reduce that anxiety and sort of just like, I personally meditate every single day. I meditate in the morning after I read a Bible plan on the Bible app. I meditate at bedtime after I read a Bible plan on the Bible app. So I encourage you guys to just read your Bible in the morning, read it at nighttime, and just take a few minutes then to just meditate on what you've read. And my scripture for today is in Joshua chapter one, verse eight. It says, study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night, so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. So I want you guys to know we really miss you guys and we cannot wait till we can be together again, but stay encouraged during this time. We're all spending more time with our families and getting to know our families a little bit better. So let's enjoy what we can while we have this chance. Man, great word of encouragement, Kelly. Meditate, I meditate every single morning. It's the first thing I do. It sounds weird to some people, but they got some breathing exercises you can do. I spend two minutes, my first two minutes, I just thank God and I focus on what I'm grateful for. The next two minutes, I pray for forgiveness and healing. The next two minutes, I pray for the day. Find a routine that works for you. You'll be amazed if you just spend some time just breathing and yes. hearing God speak to you, how refreshed you will be after that time. It's the best time that I have first yes. thing in the morning. But hey, we love you young people. We are praying for each and every one of you. I know some of you are working right now, so you're out there. So I, we're praying for you all that are going out there working. And uh, as we get to summertime, I got a scripture I just wanna leave you with. And um, we're gonna pray for you before we leave out of here. Meetup, we're gonna do midweek meetup. We're setting that up now, so be on the lookout for the information. We're gonna be excited to get with you live. Here goes my scripture for you, Romans 12, 12. Be joyful in hope, 
patient in affliction, and faithful in your prayer. So let us come together and pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for these words of encouragement. We thank you for our young people right now, Lord. We just pray for their lives, Lord. Even in this difficult time, Lord, speak to them, Lord. Uh, let them know that you are there with them, that you're leading them, that you're guiding them. And even in this difficult time, you are strengthening them, Father. We pray that you be with us, Lord, as we continue to grow our ministry and come together, Lord, to even learn what you have to say for us, Lord, in this time, Father. We thank you for all our leadership. We thank you for our young people. And we thank you for all the things you have in store for our future. We pray all these things in your precious name. Amen. All righty. God bless you, young people. We love you. We love you. Bye.